Anyway. Hey. Uh, do you, what do you think of our mission? I know when someone's got murder on their mind. The Collectors are out to kill us. Rather do it to them first. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Oh. Why? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes, and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, Dang, good ones. I got the wrong... Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because... Hey, why the fuck I not? I got the wrong outfit on her for that question. You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. If you let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine. Thanks. I think that's an interesting, like, sort of a saying. It almost sounds like it's a saying, right? If you let someone get close, you just need a shorter knife. I think this might actually make her think I'm coming on to her. I uh, can't quite remember. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick every little word apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. Okay. I, there was one point in time in one save file where I kind of accidentally came on her because I was trying to just be nice. <laughs> You know, and so you have to be careful. It happened with Leliana too, except Leliana was just like super eager, and I was like, "What?" Oh, I didn't mean to, and I accidentally ended up romancing, having a, a relationship in a way. Like she thought I was like into her. With it was Leliana and Zevran in Dragon Age Origins, where like both of them were like, "Hey, we're lovers" or whatever, and I was like, "Ah," uh, or Leliana was at least like into super into me and thought we we were gonna have a fling or something, and I was like, "I didn't mean." Too. I was just complimenting your shoes. <laughs> I was like, it was so, it was so funny. It was just one of those things where you stumble into it. And honestly, I kind of miss that in Dragon Age games, because like now it is nice, right? That it has it like obvious, where it's like for some people, because it's like you know, and maybe I don't accidentally want to like stumble into something, or like it's nice to have like clear intentions, you know, in some way. Like you know what your intentions are, because sometimes it's hard in games like this, where like the dialogue, the written dialogue. The written text doesn't necessarily match the dialogue, and so you try, <laughs> you know. Uh, but on that one, where Origins, where it's just like a list, like one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, it doesn't have like, oh, this was definitely a romance, you know. And I kind of, I kind of miss that, honestly, that like, you know, just like stumbling through conversations. Um, but to be fair, Origins was also not speaking, so like the di the text was what you said, you know, in your head, and so it could it, they could be a lot more nuanced because like you had different you had you could have a wide variety of text options, you know. Anyway, it was funny. I I thought it was really funny, and I had to let her down gently, and I felt really bad. At it. <laughs> Tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl, Manara, and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading. And I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. And with that, we're gonna go, I guess. I have to go. But we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? What's your game, Shepard? See, I think this is uh, accidentally coming onto her. But I'm not 100% sure. I could be totally messing this up. I just want to know more about you. Whatever. It'll come back to what you can take. It always does. 
Later, Shepard. Bye, you'll be my friend or else. <laughs> I like, too, that it's not, like, she's not, like, easy to crack, you know, like, that just wouldn't, I don't know, it wouldn't be, wouldn't make sense. I think romancing, I haven't romanced her yet, I would really like to. Shepherd. Just checking in. What are your thoughts about our mission? We'll push our enemies to the edge of space, then step on their fingers one at a time until the void takes them. I think we're good. Just checking in. How are you doing? Battlemaster, mm -hmm. I have everything. Clan, kin, and enemies to fight. That's all for now. Shepard. Goodbye, my boy. Let's see. Did I buy fish? Oh no. <laughs> oh good, I didn't buy fish. <laughs> um, I don't want to change any oh hello, hello. love that it's somebody who's doing that. That's right, we did buy, or we acquired, I think we did buy from somewhere. Oh, I'm missing one. Where, which one am I missing? The Turian frigate, the Corian ship, I got Sovereign, I got the Geth ship. That's like a freighter. I got the Normandy. Or no, that's a, that's a Turian. They're both Turian. Those, are, those two are Turians from the bottom and the top. And that's the little Normandy SR1, and that's the SR2. And that's the the Asari ship, but shoot, what was it called? Oh, my brain is not thinking of it right now. But maybe I'll put the hoodie on for a bit. I do like the way she looks in this. This is the did I, did I did I already do this? I think this is the one that's in Mass Effect Three that I do not like. I mean, it's it's all right, but like I don't. This one's just so much classier. Like the collar is so nice. This one looks like a swimsuit. This looks like a swimsuit. That's what it is. It just the necklace is new too. I'm pretty sure. But no, if they give me a choice to wear like formal, like if they'll let me pick a formal gear in Mass Effect Three, I'm gonna wear this one. This one, like they have like the, the, the design, like it's supposed to kind of look like her armor, right? Which I do like. I just don't like the top. The, the rest of the dress is fine. But the top, and this one's just, oh, just the lines look so nice on her. Maybe it's, I'm like, that one makes me look like chocolates. <laughs> I'm like, uh. all right, we're gonna go casual now. I did this cosplay once, you know, I cosplay, I say in air quotes. At a Comic Con, I actually did. I bought an N7 like pistol from a Comic Con like the year before, like a vendor, and I, I have the hoodie, you know, um, and I wore a black T-shirt and I got a black pair of like tight pants like this, and I actually used like a silver like paint glue to like uh, draw the lines on the pants, which came off basically like as soon as I started moving, like, at least I started cracking and they didn't quite come off. And I had I didn't have black boots, but I had these like super bright silver boots. <laughs> that were like reflective super good I really liked them I really like it was like you know it was easy like I just had to buy like the hoodie and the pistol and I just I made a holster for the pistol and I strapped it to my back where she keeps it like I had it strapped like kind of around my waist essentially I guess can I yes Shepard I want to know more about you do you have a specific inquiry? I think Let's discuss something else. I think Ready. since we, since she's actually cracked her AI a bit, like her, her programming, we can talk to her. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Jeff's yes, actions that's, have released the blocks from my databases. I can now provide full disclosure on a number of topics. Excellent. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? Currently, Cerberus consists of approximately 150 agents and operators organized into three cells. I have no solid data on material or fiscal resources. Spending trends indicate that Cerberus has a reliable income of several billion credits per year. Where are they getting that kind of income? Cerberus has several legitimate businesses as fronts to support operations. There also appear to be several wealthy private contributors in the Alliance Military Industrial Complex. Mm. 
Plus, the elusive man invented the paperclip. <clears throat> He's still getting royalties. That is a joke, Shepard. Yeah, yeah, thank you. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. We already did that. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is so how many operations is Cerberus running right now? Never more than a dozen. The elusive man likes to maintain personal oversight. Too many projects strain his ability to multitask. He's a little control freaky, just a layman's opinion. <laughs> How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? Cerberus encouraged the Alliance to co-develop the original Normandy. This allowed humans to observe Turian technologies and warship design practices. This ship was built using copies of the original technical schematics. Parts were purchased from thousands of suppliers over several years. A Cerberus cell assembled the ship at a remote location in the Voyager cluster. So they were doing, they were, they were actually making this before they even before I even died. Um, before I even came in command of the regular Normandy. Dang, actually doesn't make, well, it doesn't make a ton of sense, but it kind of does. Also, it's surprising that the original Cerberus would encourage them to co-develop, but maybe not. Maybe they kind of, you know, it's like, oh, humans are the best, but, like, they're willing to, like, take ideas from other alien, you know, species and, like, use them to advance the human agenda, I guess. Um, but... That was also, I think, maybe pre... No, I think the elusive man's been in power for a while. Yeah. He has to have been because of, um... He knew... I think he knew about Jack. Well, he when he found out about Jack, he, like, shut that cell down. Um... And that was when she was a child. Of course, the title elusive man could be, like, the Shadow Broker title, which is just kind of, like, a title... But I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong on that. Um, but I know that there was a previous leader and that since the, this elusive man has taken control, things have changed to not be so militantly anti-alien. Um, they just want to make sure humans maintain, and this is their thing, right? That they want to maintain humanity in the stars and that they don't fall behind or get taken advantage of. That's what they say. So, Let's discuss something else. Ready. Mm. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Jeff and I have established an equitable working relationship. Okay, I think... That's all for now. Logging you out. Is everything for Edie? Hey, Commander, I guess the Geth aren't all bad, huh? They're like Edie's ex-con uncle we don't talk about. What? <laughs> I guess the Geth aren't all bad, huh? Well, how come... Have I... Did I miss coming... I think I actually missed coming up and talking to Joker for, like, the last couple of minutes. Dang. For Tally and Garrus. Dang it. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, I always liked Tally, so let's just move on. And having Legion around is just... Begging for a rifle up your ass without the sweet talk. <laughs> it's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to Oh my gosh. <laughs> I assume everything's going well up here? You know, this is really nice. Edie took up the slack in every department. I could get used to this kind of help. It is not my intention to assume all of your responsibilities, Jeff. No, no, no. I'm good. Just keep me updated. Quietly. Quietly. Edie isn't a crutch. I want your eyes on everything. Eyes are easy, Commander. I got eyes covered. I believe covering your eyes would be counter to Shepard's intention. Human intentions are tough to read, Edie. But keep trying. You'll get the hang of it. Joker. All right, all right. <laughs> Joker. That's it for now. See you, Commander. All right, well, hopefully this video is shorter than what it's been recorded as. Oh, hopefully... Yes, this video is shorter than what it's recorded as. We shall see. Oh, Jacob, let's go run... I think that was it. And Morden, we gotta go. Oh, never mind. We're not quite done yet. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Oh, okay. Here we go. Downtime. There's always something, right? The way some people talk, we may as well be dead already. Hard for the crew to relax on this kind of job. We have a bar. No kidding. The next Normandy gets a we lounge. We literally have a lounge. They better not need to do this again. 
Rebuilding everything was a pain we in the ass. We literally have a lounge. I can verify that. Yeah, I bet you can. I doubt they'll front the money to stitch me back together if we screw it up. It's a hell of a job, isn't it, Shepard? Being the good guy. The lighting on him is so much better in this in this scene. And also, it's weird that they're not looking at it. I mean, he's looking at her now, but it was weird that they weren't kind of at least looking sort of in the general direction. Wouldn't be the high road if it was easy. You've got to figure, if all the people hoping we win stood up, the Collectors would have a much bigger fight on their hands. Claws, whatever. I bet we have a lot more friends once we win. Hope we live to see it. I hear that. Anyway, I need to get back to work. Good talking to you. Yeah, bud, we just chilling, we just vibing. Um, but, uh, you know, not everybody can stand up to fight, which is why people like us exist. Woo! Oh, yes. Doing that. I could probably get those. Uh, these proto or these armors built now. Since I have so sure, I have so many resources. I can learn these a single bonus power. Oh yes, now that I have. That's right, I forgot about that. And now that I have everybody's loyalty, I have access to all their abilities. Well, I might do barrier, actually. A brief but massive boof or fortification. Maybe I'll do fortification. Armor tends to be harder to get through than shields. Right, Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, one yes. Medical matter. <laughs> yes. Aware that mission is dangerous. <laughs> Different species. It's time. Stress. Sexual activity normal as stress <laughs> release. Still, recommend caution with Thane. Drell human liaisons complex. Thane complex as well. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You have a recommendation as a doctor? Prolonged human to Drell skin contact can cause small rash, itching. Oral contact may cause mild hallucinations. Yeah. Also forwarding advice booklet to your quarters. Valuable mm. diagrams, <laughs> positions comfortable for both species, erogenous zone overviews. <laughs> Can supply oils or ointments to reduce discomfort. Gave ED electronic relationship aid demonstration vids to use as necessary. Oh my gosh, don't give me ED porno vids. <laughs> These are educational ones. It is hilarious to me. You is what happened. But that there's like, there is, I don't know, I think this is, they actually, the booklet and everything's a joke, but like. It would not surprise me if they did for like interspecies interactions. They had like actual educational like booklets, you know, and look like videos on like how to interact like safely, like not just like you know, like sleazy porno stuff, but actual educational stuff, you know. Or it's like, hey, you know, you should both be happy and healthy. Also, I didn't know that until Morton told me this that oral contact with the Drell's skin is mildly hallucinogenic and actually in Mass Effect 3. There is a there's a bar you can go to where there's a drink um, that you can get that is as weird as it sounds. It is mixed with uh, I guess the sweat I think of a drill or something, it, which is just weird. But it, it is it is um it is it, it's for the mildly hallucinogenic processes, which is just weird. Could you imagine being a drill and you? <laughs> You, like, have a side gig just, like, sweating? I don't know. And, like, I don't even know if it's the sweat. It's, like, or, like, a skin secretion of some sort. <laughs> just, like, putting that in a jar. I can't. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. It's so funny. Wait a minute, Morden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Shocking. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust. Would never dream of mockery. Of mockery. Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less alcohol and mood music required. You could definitely have some mood music in here, though, for the uh, for the cell reproduction. 
Silurians don't have the same sex drive that um, mammalian species do. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's one of my favorite. I was wondering when that was going to come up. Oh, uh, good. We finally got that. One of the best parts of the game. It's so funny. I'm so glad they put that in. It, and he does it for every, any any um, any interaction that you have. Can you? I think he, I don't know how he does it with like human. I think he just brings it up where he's like, like it's not necessary. There's no like necessarily like warning. It's like the physiology of like human to human interaction. But whatever, whoever you romance, he comes up with something to say, and it's so funny. I love it so much. So. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Sorry we didn't get to the Firewalker DLC quite yet. Next time, we will. I just wanted to make a run through really quick and make sure everyone was doing all right. Um, and I try to do it, you know, fairly frequently um, because I want to make sure that I'm not, like, getting to, like, right before the suicide mission and realizing that I have, like, two conversations or something that I'm missing and I have to, like... E anyway, it just kind of... It can kind of mess things up. I want to make sure I get everything done with everybody so thank you all so much for joining me i appreciate it really quick i want to say thank you to my patrons to all my patrons but to especially reese galito my sapling tier patron thank you so much for your support and an extra special shout out to my two tree tier patrons uh patrons <laughs> um christopher thank you so much for your support i truly truly appreciate it and you're the super bestest thank you so much and another shout out to adam who is actually an old friend of mine and is super great and i hope you're doing well and that your family's doing well and thank you again so much for your support so thank you all again and i hope to see you in the next one